In this repair video, we're going to be working on an iPad 10.5 that came in for a reboot problem. So what happens is the tablet reboots. It turns on, Apple logo off, on, Apple logo off. Sometimes it does boot up to the operating system. And then after a minute or so, it reboots or it turns back off. So we're going to inspect the motherboard, check on the components, make sure everything is good. Right now, the tablet does not have any display or backlight issues. It doesn't have any charging issues, so we're not going to be even concerned with the LCD connectors on here. But I know from experience, rebooting issues are usually caused by coils. So we're going to check all coils on the board, make sure they are good. Starting with this one, this one, make sure nothing is broken or loose. I've seen it before where coils were missing or loose. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. Go over them one by one. Anything else? Check this one. Oh, 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 look at this. Look at this. Look at this coil. Gone. The legs are actually broken off the coil and they are stuck on the pad down here. So nothing is attached to that coil. <laughs> look at this. Number two. Two bad coils so far. Anything else? And look at that. Look at this here. It looks like we have a missing call here too. Look at the legs. They are still here, but the call is not here. So we have three bad coils. One missing and two are still on the board. Okay, so let's start by replacing those two. Let's get rid of this. And if we flip it, you see the legs should go inside, but they are broken off the coil. So that's coil number one. I have a donor board here and we're going to extract those components from this donor board. And before I do that, let me clean up the pads and prep those pads. So we need to remove whatever is left from the coil. So it looks like we already used one of those inductors, but we do have more here. So we're going to use this and this. Awesome. Let's grab another one. And we're going to grab this one here.
and we're gonna put it on the customer's board. Okay, and this component is solid. Solid, we do not care about the sides here and we're not gonna bother cleaning up those sides because we may end up just knocking off components from the sides and it's not really needed. So everything is good here. And we have to fix one more and hope for the best. Do not like to apply a lot of solder onto those pads because it can spill out and cause a short with other components. So it's really better if we can wick some of that excess solder. And look at that. We used the same exact inductor for a previous repair that we did, but that's okay because we're gonna use the one that's right next to it on the donor board, this one here. But you can see that this is a common problem with those iPads. The iPad drops, screen does not break, but coils break. They either get knocked off the board or they go loose. Let's solder this one and then I'm gonna give it to Big Boss to reassemble and test. See how tight the component is. And that's why I said, look at the spillage here. We spilled. And that's why we should be careful on how much solder we apply to those pads because it's more work later on. Okay, I need to remove that inductor. I need to remove it completely to fix the mess that just happened here. And that's what happens when you are working with tight areas and that's why once something is soldered in a tight area, I do not go back to fix it or make it look pretty. If it's making a connection, it's good because you can easily end up with situations like this where you have to spend more time to get things done. It's not a problem. We can do it, but it just takes us more time. Now, this inductor may be making a connection with those capacitors, but we do not know that. Very nice. We're gonna have to apply some solder onto one of the pads because we just lost solder from there. Okay, solid. Very nice. So we're gonna clean up. Job is done. So we're gonna reassemble it and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, so the tablet is reassembled and it's been on for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, it did not reboot, not even once. When the customer brought this in, it was rebooting. Apple logo off, Apple logo off. And at one point it did go in for about 30 seconds or one minute and then it rebooted again. Right now, the tablet is on and it's been on like this for the past 
probably 30 minutes. As you can see, we've done a couple of videos on YouTube with the same exact issue where coils are loose or a coil was lost or there was some type of damage to the coil. Maybe the legs that hook up to the coil are loose from the inside. And by changing the coils, we are able to fix the rebooting issue. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I will do something else in the next video.